All right, it looks like we are rolling. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your buddy Jake Dominguez back with another movie review. Now, as we all know, like I talked about in my last video, it is the month of December. How awesome is that? Christmas time is here, the holidays, it's great. But this is the month that I've been waiting for for over two years from now because Star Wars The Last Jedi is finally going to be coming out in theaters this month. I cannot wait. As we speak on the t day I'm recording this video, it's only about 10 days away. I'm so excited. I want to see this movie now. I cannot wait. And while I was preparing to figure out what new videos I wanted to make, I wanted to think of what are some Star Wars related videos I can do for you guys. I thought about reviewing some of the movies themselves, which I might still do. We'll see. But you know what? I have so much to say about those movies. Just all those. I've seen them so many times. I love them. I love them to death. And I thought of something a little different. I decided it would be really awesome to do a review of all of Ryan Johnson's filmography. Ryan Johnson, of course, is the writer and director of Star Wars The Last Jedi. And he is one of my favorite filmmakers. When I found out that he was the guy that was going to make this movie happen, I was like, of course. You know, that makes perfect sense. So I'm going to go through and review his entire filmography. Now, he has three movies that I'm going to review. Brick, The Brothers Bloom, and Looper. And, of course, when the Star Wars The Last Jedi comes out, I might make a few different reviews of that. <laughs> I'm going to do a normal review, a spoiler review. I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot to say on that movie. But until then, we're, I'm going to talk about this movie called Brick. This was his feature film debut. I love this movie, and unfortunately, not as many people know about this movie as they should. As of the time I'm recording this video, Brick is not available on Blu-ray in the United States. Uh, I don't even, I'm not sure if it's available in Canada or anything like that, maybe? I'm not sure, but it's not, I'm pretty darn sure, unless something happens since I've wrote the script and everything for this video, it hasn't happened yet. And wouldn't surprise me after Star Wars The Last Jedi comes out, it may do that for Brick. It was released on DVD forever ago when the movie came out. But this film premiered in 2005 in the Sundance Film Festival. It was released in theater sometime in 2006. This is a great movie. More people should know about Brick. And so I'm going to do a review of it today. Now, this is a movie you do not want to know a lot going in. This movie is full of surprises, and you, it's best to go in pretty spoiler-free. So, I always try to do that in my videos anyway. But in the case of Brick, the less you know, the better. What you need to know is that Brick is an independent film, and it tells the story of this, this high schooler played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And this film is a film noir, a mystery film very much inspired by the works of Dashiell uh, Hammett. I believe that's his name. Did I say that right? I don't know if the pronunciation is completely right. But he is the author behind uh, such books as The Maltese Falcon, which later became the classic uh, film, of course, and that sort of thing. It's influenced by film noir, movies of the past. How many film noirs are made nowadays? It never happens. There's some filmmakers like Quentin Tarantino or Christopher Nolan that definitely has noir influences, but Brick is a straight film noir. But it is set in high school. Sounds pretty gimmicky, right? Well, not how it's portrayed in this movie. And it's interesting, and Ryan Johnson even talked about this, it's interesting how the film noir kind of tropes fit in with the high school tropes. It's really interesting, and this film does it so brilliantly. The basic plot synopsis that I can say about this movie, I, I kind of interrupted myself, sorry. There's so much I want to say about it, but... Again, there's this high schooler played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt who gets caught up in a mystery about the disappearance of this girl that he just happened to have a prior relationship with. And boy, does he get in over his head with tons of stuff. This film has so many twists and turns, and, I'm not, and I don't dare review them. But suffice to say that this film's story is great. This screenplay is amazing. One quick fun fact. Ryan Johnson, when he was writing the screenplay for this movie, before he wrote the script, I don't know completely on my facts, he actually wrote a book adaptation, <laughs> if you will, of this screenplay, which to my knowledge is still available for free on his website, or at least it was for a long time. 
And he did that in order to get to the feel of that film noir, detective, hard boiler kind of like feel in that voice. And you can tell in the movie because this is 100% plays it straight film noir. There's no cliche or parody or kind of stuff going on here. That sort of thing where they kind of play it for, as a joke. They play it straight and it's brilliantly done. This is a movie you can watch multiple times over and over and over again. You know, notice things you've never noticed before. It makes it kind of hard when you watch it on a first viewing because, man, there are so many things happening and so many twists and turns. And you might end up being confused if you're not paying attention to every scene. And I love that. How many movies are there where you can get up, use the bathroom, go get some more popcorn or something, and you wouldn't miss anything because the story is just here nor there. This movie, you have to be paying attention for every scene. <laughs> and I love that. This script is brilliant. It is so well done. The fact that this is his first movie, his first screenplay that was produced into a movie, that is, is incredible. Now, I know that he probably wrote many scripts beforehand, he made tons of short films, so he had some experience in that sort of thing. But this script is brilliant. And the direction, oh my gosh, this is an incredibly directed movie. You can tell that this guy, and this is his first movie, is a brilliant director. Ryan Johnson directs the heck out of this movie, all the camera movements and everything. It's fantastic. His cinematographer in this film is Steve Yedlin. Again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. But he's has been a cinematographer in all of his films. He's also the cinematographer on Star Wars The Last Jedi. Man, this guy's a great cinematographer. I can't praise him enough. This movie is so beautifully shot. The script is great. The cinematography is wonderful. Nathan Johnson? Is that his? I think it was Nathan Johnson. Does the music for this film. It's fantastic. This whole movie is just great. This is the lamest movie review ever. Because all I can say about Brick is that it's excellent. It is such a great film noir. It's such a great mystery. There's, the acting is great. This is one of Joseph Gordon-Levitt's best roles. I love that guy. I love Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He's such an outstanding actor. He is so outstanding in this role. In fact, Ryan Johnson was a lot really influenced by the anime Cowboy Bebop, which is my favorite anime of all time. The direction of that was a big influence on Brick as well. And you can tell. Like, once I found that out, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, you know? And, like, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character is basically Spike from that show. It kind, of <laughs> it kind of fits. It's awesome. I love that. Guys, I could go on and on about this movie. It's so good. It's such a great mystery. The ending is so satisfying. It's everything you want in a great mystery movie. And the mystery holds up if you go back to watch it multiple times. I love this movie, and I really don't have many big flaws about it, really. It's one of those movies that almost gets better every time you watch it. I and mean, this is such a great film. It's my favorite film Ryan Johnson's ever made. Up to this point, I'm going to give Brick an A+. I, I don't know what to say, guys. This movie's outstanding. If you haven't seen it, and most people haven't, check it out. And I know it's available to rent on YouTube. That was how I saw it for the very first time. But check this movie out, and I hope after this new Star Wars movie, more people check out Brick, because it's an excellent film. Guys, that's my review. Get ready for a few more movie reviews coming up soon. Brothers Bloom review will be, will be here soon, as well as a review for Looper. Cannot wait for Star Wars The Last Jedi. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching my channel, and never forget, I'm your friend. I'm always going to be there for you. Thank you so much for being my friend as well. Love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.